Hello friends, this is Vineet. Welcome to my YouTube channel, TechiSub. So today's tutorial is all about how we can create a simple HTML report. It's not action report and anything like that. It's just a simple uh, HTML report which can be used to uh, for our uh, test execution. So it will have uh, the test case name, the status, the steps, and if there is any failure, we can also attach the screenshots also. Okay, but uh, the uh, HTML report a UI is actually a simple UI so don't expect too much in the UI part and all those things <coughs> so first I will show you the uh, template that I am using so I'll be just editing with notepad so so these are the uh, styles that I have used because for pass I have to show it in a different color for fail everything and the test case name and all those things and then I have uh, commented this part like update test case name. So I'll be using this as one of the placeholder. Then I will be putting the test case name here. Then the test case status. These are the uh, headers of the table. Then I will be inserting the steps here. And then uh, if there is an image, I can insert it here. So it's actually a simple uh, HTML uh, report. So that's the that's all about the template. Then moving to my uh, test so actually I have created a so there is an initialize method so here I will be creating an object of the report then I will be initializing it so initializing it means I am actually uh, storing all these uh, actually the results or the logs into an, a list and actually I am printing this list into the a template actually so that's what it's happening so during the initialize I will be initializing the list only with the object of the result class so I have a class sorry I have a class so here what I am doing is like I have a uh, constructor which takes the result and the result text so it will be pass it uh, passed successfully and I will be storing it so, and I will be using it to set get this result and I am also using it to set and get the result text so that's pretty much simple uh, result class and so then I'll be getting the test context so this is my uh, test case so I have something called report dot report the status and the step so info will be actually uh, white color the fail will be red and pass will be green color so if you go to the uh, report page so as I already mentioned I have uh, taken this part test case name status step and image so this is the report so if i have the i will have the result and the message then i'll be passing it to the result class so it's for getting and setting the value then i am ass uh, assigning a boolean flag to true so if it is a true then we know it's uh, pass if it is a false then we know it is fail then i am adding the details finally to the list so okay so that's all about the uh, uh, the uh, step how we pa how we add to the test uh, test level then i have something called write result so what it is happening is i am actually uh, uh, reading all the lines from the template to an array then i am converting it into a list then i will try and first find out the placeholder for the test case name and i will add the test case name here okay and it will have the class so this name so that whatever style i have added to this it will be coming for that uh, test case name then i will search for the test case status and then i will pass whether it is pass or fail so if it is pass it will have this tcp as the class and it will be green color the style of this tcp and then what i will be ch uh, checking is for the insert tc steps uh, placeholder then i will be start adding the test steps so it's like you can see if it is pass if it contains pass then i'll be having uh, this i will be inserting like class is equal to tcps details of so you can see it's a get result that i am taking it from the result class and i have something called get result text also so similarly i am doing it for pass fail and info and so if you have a screenshot then what i'll be doing I'll be reading the screenshot then I'll be converting it into a base 64 uh, string then I'll be actually inserting it at the 
image placeholder and finally I am actually writing it into a report so actually I will be having the test case name added in the report name so that's pretty much about the uh, the methods that I have so I have one test case I have uh, created for this demo so I'll be creating a report with the test case name so I will just run this okay so now you can see a, a report has been generated okay so I was uh, planning to open it in Chrome but due to some issues I was not able to open it in Chrome so I have now opened it in the Firefox so you can see you have the name of the report then the test case name then the status fail so you have info pass green color and fail red color so you have the steps and finally you can have the screenshot so this is the just a normal report and this report can be actually appended to the output of the uh, test that you run in the DevOps or you can have it in the uh, Visual Studio also so this is the uh, report that I am talking about and then moving on to uh, Visual Studio so I let me see whether I have added it to the output or not so no I haven't added it but you can use the test context to add it to the output of the Visual Studio itself so this is the simple HTML report you can use uh, if you have an issue with the uh, XM report or other reports. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye.